Oiwa was a beautiful young woman who lived in a small town in Japan. Her boyfriend's name was Iemon, and although he didn't have much money, Oiwa loved him very much. She was overjoyed when her childhood sweetheart asked her to marry him. After the wedding, they moved in together, and the happy couple were soon expecting a baby. Oiwa didn't care that Iemon was poor, but as time went on, he became angry and depressed about his lack of prospects. Iemon soon grew to hate his happy young wife, and started an affair with a rich young woman named Oume. He romanced her for months, and eventually, she fell in love with him. Despite his poverty, and the fact that he was already married, one day, Oume's father. Came to see Iemon. He told Iemon what a shame it was that he was already married, because his daughter loved him very much. The father then went on to tell him all the ways that he could ensure his future son-in-law's wealth and success. Iemon listened intently. Iemon spent a great deal of time thinking about what Oume's father had told him. An evil plot began to form in his mind. He decided that the only way he could marry Oume was to get rid of Oiwa and her unborn child. He thought that the easiest way to do this was to secretly. Poison Oiwa and make it look like she had died of natural causes. Poor Oiwa was totally ignorant of her husband's murderous plans, blissfully unaware of the fate that was about to befall her. She continued to happily prepare for the birth of their baby. One evening, when Oiwa and Iemon were sitting down to eat dinner, she noticed her husband was strangely quiet and nervous. She encouraged him to eat his dinner, but he would not touch his food. He yelled at Oiwa and told her to stop fretting and eat her own meal. She needed. To be strong for the baby, he said. Oiwa finally gave up trying to tempt Iemon's appetite, and started to eat her dinner. It wasn't long before she felt very sick. Iemon watched her coldly as the poison did its work, not offering her any help or comfort, but. Oiwa did not die right away. Her beautiful face became disfigured from the poison first. Then, she slipped into unconsciousness. Iemon was too much of a coward to finish the job he started, so he put Oiwa's lifeless body in a bed. Eventually, Oiwa woke from her coma. Remembering nothing of the poisoning, she had lost her baby, and her face was ugly and terrible. But Oiwa survived. In the following weeks, Iemo became desperate. He played the part of the concerned husband, but he was secretly looking for any way possible to get rid. Of his wife, Oiwa. One evening, he took Oiwa for a long walk. They made their way to a cliff 
and Eamon looked around to see if anyone was nearby. No one was in sight. Eamon then pushed Awewa off the ledge, and she fell down to her death. Her broken body was discovered, and Eamon gave her the best funeral he could afford, spending all of his money in a great show of marital devotion. Of course, Eamon knew his money troubles were only temporary now that Oiwa was gone. Thinking his worries were over, Eamon then planned his wedding to Oume. The night before the marriage was to take place, Eamon noticed his bedside lamp was dimming. He looked at the lamp curiously, as it seemed to be changing. The disfigured face of Oiwa suddenly replaced the lamp, growing larger and larger in the room. It hissed. Iemo suddenly grabbed a stick and swung at the face, but Oiwa disappeared and the lamp smashed and fell to the floor. Iemo thought he heard the faint laughter of a woman from outside. <laughs> Shaken, Iemon convinced himself that the vision was simply the result of drinking too much alcohol earlier in the evening and decided to go to bed. The next day, Iemon had forgotten all about the specter from the night before. He and Oume were wed the next day. When he lifted her veil, however, her beautiful young face was replaced with Oiwa's horrible visage. <sighs> the horrified samurai Iemon suddenly drew his sword and swung it at the ghostly apparition, cutting Oiwa's head off. The severed head rolled down the aisle of the church. But when it came to a stop, it was Oume's head and not Oiwa's. He heard the faint sound of laughter again. <laughs> Panicked, Emo ran to his tiny house looking for a place to hide. There was a pounding at the door and Oime's grandfather demanded that he opened it instantly. When Iemo did so, Oewa was standing there. She hissed. Once again, Iemo tried to decapitate her, but when his sword finished its work, it was Oime's grandfather that lay dead. Iemon, out of fear, ran for the cliffs. Oiwa's laughter followed him. <laughs> he stopped at the edge of the cliff and turned his head behind him to see if Oiwa was following him. At that moment, Oiwa's ghostly disfigured face appeared in front of him. Out of fear, Iemon fell backwards and off the cliffs. As Iemon fell off the cliff into his death, all he could hear was Oiwa's laughter. Ha <laughs> <laughs>